In this video, we'll review the settings options for alignments and dependencies in Profit.co. As a super user, you can navigate to Settings, OKRs, Alignments, and Dependencies. The first section on the Settings page is for cascading alignments. You can cascade OKRs in two ways. First, you can assign a key result as an objective, and you can assign a key result as a key result or a sub-key result. You can enable both of these options so they are available for your users, but you should select one default so that your users will know which approach to use first. Beneath the assignment approach, you'll have more options. With the first toggle, you can enable multiple assignees for a key result, meaning that you can assign a key result to multiple departments, teams, or employees. If disabled, assignees will be limited to one. With the second toggle, you can enable assignees to choose whether they accept or reject key results that are assigned to them from the top down. If they reject an assignment, it will revert back to the assigner. If this toggle is disabled, the assignee will not have the option to reject an assignment. The third toggle indicates that when key results are assigned to individuals as objectives or key results down from the corporate, department, or team OKR level, they'll appear with a copy of the original objective making it easier to track the alignment flow in the organization. Finally, under Synchronize Key Result Updates, the toggle for Single Assignee allows users to enable two-way synchronization between the assigner of a key result and the assignee. This means that when either of those users change the name of their key result, the key result type, tags associated with the key result, or the frequency of check-ins, the key result will be updated on both users' OKRs. This feature is only available when there's one assignee on a key result. If the toggle is disabled, the only synchronization that will occur between the original and assigned key result is the check-in progress. This will be a one-way synchronization, however. The assigner's progress will not be reflected in the assignee's key result. However, the assignee's progress will be reflected in the assigner's key result progress. The next section is for bottom-up alignment. These toggles control the availability and limits of alignment that come from a lower level of the company to an upper level, such as the individual or team objectives aligned to the departmental key results. The first toggle allows for bottom-up alignment to occur. Users can roll up OKRs through the details page of key results. The next toggle enables an assignee to accept or reject alignments. The third toggle always adds the objective that's being aligned from the bottom up as a key result to the target objective. The fourth toggle allows users to roll up an objective as a key result under another key result. This is also known as a sub-key result. The fifth toggle allows bottom-up alignments to come from one tier below the target OKR. The last section is for dependencies, or horizontal alignment. These relationships indicate that in order for one part of an OKR to be completed, Another team, individual, or department must make progress on their OKR. The first toggle enables OKR to OKR dependencies. The second enables dependencies between key results. And the third toggle enables users to accept or reject dependencies created on their OKRs. For more information, check out our Help Center. And don't forget, we're available 24-7 on our live support chat, right on your Profit.co platform.